So moving on now to um, unit six, uh, question 18 and 19. Even though this is recycled paper, you know the adage, uh, reuse <laughs> uh, before you uh, recycle or anything else, so reuse. So uh, we'll keep uh, on this, um, this passage. I underlined the concentration of small molecules in the newly formed plasma filtrate. Okay, yes, so we're talking about um, kidney and the nephron. And so one of the things, of course, you know, that comes to my mind is that the nephron is the functional unit of the kidney. The nephron is the functional unit of the kidney, and the nephron is a filtration, reabsorption, reabsorption, secretion unit. So this is the nephron. So it reabsorbs, it, so it filters. So that means uh, it sends blood at, at significant uh, blood pressure, um, and it goes across a, a membrane and it's filtered uh, by those membranes uh, in Bowman's capsule uh, through the glomerulus and then um, a lot of these fluids get dumped into the proximal convoluted tubule. And um, this is all alluded to in this, um, in this passage, but it shows you you don't have to memorize details. You, need, you just need to have a sense uh, you know, of what's going on to feel comfortable. And then after all these um, substances like glucose and proteins and, and, and uh, amino acids are dumped into the filtrate, then they are reabsorbed. They're pulled back into the body because we need them. They're, they're essential. And then, this is not discussed, but then we do secrete some things into the filtrate, like urea or, or other things that our body needs to get rid of. So, uh, that's just a little backdrop. So, the first question is uh, for um, glucose and plasma concentration of that. The glucose concentration in the filtrate is higher than in urine because... So, I look at um, the uh, plasma concentration of one uh, milligram per milliliter okay I see it on the graph and then I see that at that point the uh, glucose concentration in the filtrate is one I could see that it's one but the glucose concentration in urine is zero according to the graph at that point so clearly we have glucose in the blood we have none in the filtrate and it's because of this it's because the glucose is being resorbed back into the bloodstream, back into our bodies. And, um, and so that's answer choice A. And uh, B doesn't make any sense. Glucose is actively transported from the blood into the filtrate. The filtrate have no glucose in it, but the blood has. So, I mean, it, it doesn't make sense. And, and not to mention, we don't want glucose in it. <laughs> Because it, it, once it gets into the filtrate, this is uh, the major component of urine. There will still be some movement in the proximal, uh, proximal and, and the distal convoluted tubule and the uh, loop of Henle. But uh, still, the filtrate is, is moving on to, to become urine. And we don't want uh, uh, to waste glucose. So uh, that doesn't make any sense. And the water thing is, is way out. So uh, answer for 18 is A. 19. Figure 1 indicates it is absorbed from the filtrate. All glucose is absorbed from the filtrate um, below filtrate concentration of about 2.2. So I'm looking and uh, and indeed if, if you look if you look carefully at the graph and um, you know on the x-axis you have zero you have Two, you have four and really right about here right about here at 2.2 um, is when you start to get uh, some glucose in the urine you have glucose in the filtrate before that but you only start getting glucose in the urine um, at that point so it means that below this point the, the body was able to get back all that glucose into the system. If you want to read about uh, the uh, kidney, um, just uh, checking uh, where you can read about it. You can um, read about it here and uh, in the book. <laughs>